want to show how you revive trees, which is really a powerful component uh, of our uh, product line. This is an African sumac, and it was transplanted about uh, six months ago. This sumac looked good for the first month or two and then has slowly declined since then. It does have some green leaves on it. Um, we're going to show how we uh, revive this tree by using our product. Rather than spraying the leaves, uh, which is fine with our products, I like to focus on the soil. I think that's really where the magic can happen. If it's a small plant like an azalea, I would spray the leaves also, but I'd spray the leaves while I'm focusing on the soil. Uh, we're going to use our blend, the mixture of the Optimize, the Maximize, and the Nourish Biosol. So those are three dry products. We're going to do, as I just alluded to, an, an, a really an over-application of it. Uh, so to make sure that uh, everything in this blend is available to the tree in abundant amounts. So um, this has um, beneficial microbes, this has um, mycorrhizae. We seem to get more dramatic results and mulch on soil is fantastic, like a top dressing mulch that just protects the soil from the sun, uh, conserves moisture, and I like to use a mulch that's a little bit coarse so that gardeners can't blow it away and, and it stays put and you, you know, you, you continue to have it. Instead of using these harsh products that can burn the tree and that can actually do the opposite uh, of uh, this hopeful rejuvenation that we're envisioning, um, with our products, all organic, all um, natural, uh, we can use a whole lot of them, overload the soil, overload the plant, no chance of burning, and we know that we're getting as many nutrients as possible. So this is a way to allow this plant to be full of nutrients in order to start its rebirth. The other thing is, a lot of times when with uh, sick and dying plants, the problem isn't necessarily the root, uh, nutrients available to it, but for some reason or another, they get locked up in the soil. And our products with our organic compounds and our uh, array of microbes is one of is about the best way to unlock soil so now it's going to make um, all of the nutrients in the soil and the nutrients that we're applying available to this tree that looks like it could use some additional nutrients because of its current appearance and today i'm here with zoo operations officer lisa condoyan and we began our reclamation efforts which were the same every other Friday we applied six pounds of blend and 32 ounces in five gallons of water of uh, penetrate began that on uh, April 6th so we're close to three months now Here we are. and you told me a couple weeks ago something that you know I resisted the, the, the urge to cry but you told me that this is the most uh, special project you've uh, been involved with here at the zoo why don't you expound on that well um, when you go from a tree that's been recommended to be removed and deemed dead and then it uh, ends up looking like this after a few months um, it's going to be one of the highlights of, of my career here at the zoo because it uh, the results cannot be so you're saying there were some doubters, huh? There were a lot of doubters. We've had some uh, professional uh, tree enthusiasts and uh, arborists say that the tree was dead. So, so I'm happy to prove that they were wrong, or that I, you prove they were wrong. I guess they just don't believe in the power of soil. Uh, maybe That's not. what we need to believe in, the power of soil. Really miraculous things are going on under there if we empower the, you know, those miraculous things. And a lot of our practices don't empower life in the soil. They actually damage life in the soil. So when you use synthetic fertilizers or fungicides or pesticides, all of those things to some degree kill life in the soil. And that will make a miracle like this less and less likely. Mm -hmm. So, so anything else you'd like to uh, include in our uh, final video here on the African Sumac at Christmas Chapter Two? I would just thank you for your perseverance in uh, bringing our tree back. It was our pleasure.